All of us understand how dangerous driving under the influence is. Two members of the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office were arrested for DUI, but after brief suspensions tonight are still wearing the uniform. CBS 12's Al Pefley joins us live with that story. Al? The CBS 12 News got the details of these cases in these PBSO internal affairs reports. A PBSO deputy and a PBSO captain who were arrested in separate off-duty DUI incidents pleaded guilty to lesser charges and are still on the job. We wanted to know why. Everybody from law enforcement to just our, our newest drivers need to remember, never get behind the wheel impaired. Always call somebody. There's always somebody to call. Good advice for mothers against drunk driving, but internal affairs reports show two members of the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office were arrested for DUI in separate incidents, but have been able to keep their jobs. It's extremely upsetting and it's, and it's disturbing. Last June, PBSO Deputy Zaldi Cortez was arrested for DUI after a crash in his own vehicle while off duty. The arresting officer reported, quote, his speech was slurred and his eyes were watery, glassy and bloodshot. His breath alcohol level was more than twice the legal limit. In the other case, a PBSO captain who was not named because he works undercover was arrested for DUI in October after crashing into a barrier at a gas station more than 200 miles away from Palm Beach County. He was also off duty at the time, but he was driving a PBSO vehicle. You got to go to classes, schools, and things like that, and then, uh, but you keep your job. You don't lose your job because you got in a DUI. It's not a in ending career incident. Police Union President John Kazanjian says if a law enforcement officer is arrested for DUI on a first offense, they'll typically be suspended. If it happens again, they lose their state certification to work in law enforcement and then would be dismissed. You definitely will lose your job. Not like you might lose it. You will lose your job. Larry Coggins with Mothers Against Drunk Driving tells CBS 12 News some law enforcement agencies do terminate officers arrested for DUI. We, we would really, really encourage you know, every agency to take the approach many of the larger uh, progressive agencies have had around Florida, and that is to have zero tolerance policy when it comes to impaired driving. So everybody deserves a second chance. Does it appear like these two officers were given any special treatment? Absolutely not. Nothing that anybody else would ever get. And PBSO said in a written statement that many factors are taken into account when determining disciplinary action, such as the severity of the offense, any prior violations, and overall work performance. And the state attorney's office confirmed on a first offense DUI, if there are no other circumstances like injury to another driver, then pleading down to reckless driving is standard practice. Live in West Palm Beach, Al Pefley, CBS 12 News. I'm Jim Grimes. Click like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.